Now we're going to take a look at Lightspeed's inventory management tools. Lightspeed is known for their inventory management. It's really what sets them apart from other point of sale competitors. They have great order management and vendor management, as well as bulk order management, and um, can handle just a lot more volume of inventory than um, the other competitors on the market. Um, so we're going to start here by adding a new item. That's something that I imagine most people are going to have to do um, to start out. <clears throat> so what we'll do first is we're going to go here and we're going to do um, a green mini skirt. Uh, the quantity we're going to add is going to be 15. Here you can also add your IDs, so whether that be your UPC or your custom SKUs, you can add those here and then they'll be included on the labels that are automatically created for each item. Um, you'll select the brand or the vendor, any tags you want to include. So I'm going to say uh, mini, denim, and uh, zip. Zip. Uh, the default price is going to be $35. Discounts are allowed. Default cost. So we're going to say that we paid $12 for this skirt. You can also set a reorder point. So I'm going to set it at three. And that basically tells the system that once my quantity is down to three, please make a new purchase. So I will get an alert and then this will automatically um, create a new purchase order for me that I can submit to my buyers for my desired quantity, which I'm going to say is 40 units. And then that guy is ready to go. So it's super easy. It includes a lot of important information. And then once your item is created, you can put add label and then it will show up right here with the green mini skirt. So you've got 16 labels ready to go. Um, and you can check all these boxes and then print them once you have your label printer set up. So that's also another thing. You can print your labels directly from here. Um, another way that you might be adding items to your inventory list is by importing them. So we'll take a look at that. And so basically what that looks like is you'll go here and you can either have, if you have your own file, um, you can either drag and drop it here or you can fill out Lightspeed's template, which is what I suggest doing because it has the most pertinent fields for Lightspeed's inventory. Um, but as you can see here, I have imported um, an Excel sheet here and it had about 100 pieces of inventory on it where I just filled out the Excel cells and then I imported the sheet and it created 100 individual pieces of inventory for me with all of the information from the sheet. This sheet is also available. Um, it's called our Lightspeed Mock Inventory. For It's available for download on our Lightspeed Review article. So you can feel free and download that if you want to use it on Lightspeed's 14-day trial so you can use all the different tools and whatnot. So in addition to importing items individually or importing items and adding them individually, you can also add matrix, which this is a unique uh, thing to Lightspeed. And it allows you to add multiple variants of a single item with one product page. So you're not making individual product pages for each one of the items that you're trying to add. So what that looks like is let's say we're going to do a blouse. Um, we're going to say it's a billabong. We're going to say it's a $35 blouse and the default cost is 15. Now here's where the matrix comes in. So let's say I have this blouse in a bunch of different colors and sizes or in a different sleeve lengths or whatever that might be. I'm going to go with colors and sizes. And so I'm going to create a matrix based on color and size. And I'm going to go here and click save. And my matrix is going to pop up. So I'm going to say I have lavender, mauve, and uh, green for this blouse. And I've got it in small, medium, and large. And I'll go here and save changes. Again, these items have not been added yet to your inventory list. This is a three-step process. So you've added the matrix item, you've added the three variants or the six variants, and then here you can go through and start adding them to your inventory list. So as you can see, we're adding them to our inventory list, but again, there's no stock. We haven't said how many we have. So that's when you'll go here, go to inventory, I'm going to say I have 10 of these, save changes, and then I can go back to my item matrix, and 
there's my blouse and there I've got 10 in stock. So that is all ready to go. And they will also be on your inventory list. So we're going to go blouse. And as you can see, it's right there. Awesome. All right. So you've got matrix. And then in addition to adding and having your own inventory list on here, there are also a bunch of management tools for your purchase orders and vendor information. So you can um, create purchase orders here, create new orders, vendor returns. But the best thing that I think that Lightspeed has to offer is their vendor catalogs. And so here you can um, sort your catalogs by the categories that make sense to your business. And then Lightspeed will pair you with industry specific vendors that they are, that they trust. And then you can, when you purchase with them, uh, you can do so right through your point of sale system through one of the purchase order forms that we saw before. And then when you purchase the inventory it will automatically be added to your catalog of inventory. So it just, it makes the whole process so much easier and the vendors are all trusted. So it's a really, really great tool. Um, and then finally, we've got some man maintenance tools that you can use. So most of the inventory management that you'll use with Lightspeed is automated. They're running automated reports. They're, um, you know, adding things automatically if you're buying through their vendor catalog. But these are kind of your manual um, maintenance cues that you can go through and uh, override the system and make manual changes, whether that be, you know, making a quick quantity change or a description change. Um, if you're doing manual counts, you can add that information in here. You can edit your um, matrices right here. And it's all just at the click of a finger and super, super easy to use. Next, we'll get into reports and um, the analysis portion of Lightspeed's features, but that's what I've got for our inventory management.